Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're going to take a look at some models from a collection of Kingdom Death figures. This game has some very, very evocative uh, items in it. I mean, figurines, it's just, it's just bizarre. It's just absolutely bizarre stuff. And uh, we're gonna take a look at just a few of these little creatures. Let me get let me get centered so I can have kind of a an area to to bring them in. Yeah, there we go. In fact, let's let's get just a little bit lower. So first off, let's take a look at the real freak job of this set is called Spidicules, and I'm pretty sure that's that's the correct name for this. Now, by the way, I might get some of these names wrong. And I am, like, completely open to being corrected. Let me just see if I can... Jeez. I can just get this guy to, to set down. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's take a look. Oh, just an absolutely bizarre figure. So it's like this Daddy Long Legs thing. And what I think is really disconcerting about these figures is they combine animal and human characteristics. So you see a lot of these sort of gods and monsters type figures with like human hands, there's faces everywhere, and uh, but they're not anthropomorphic. I can't describe it like the, the transitions are just not quite right. So anyway, Spidicules, which comes with these little spiderling things here. And again, I'm not overly familiar with the game. We've done a ton of these figures. So it's like this daddy long legs demon creature and it has like a lure like a like a viper fish type thing on it and uh, yeah and look at these hands uh, the model itself because it's flexible really is very very sturdy like it doesn't seem like it's gonna break let me see if I can just well I probably can't move them around too much let me just give you a sort of a top view there side view and he has like human hands sort of lazily crossed in front of him in fact I want to get Sort of a close-up on that. Well, actually, you can you can see him now. So anyway, all right, let's get rid of him. And next up is the Dragon King. And this, oh man, this figure is just insane. And in fact, I think this is the guy that goes with him. Like this guy transforms into this other guy. Let me uh, let me pull this back so you can see better. There you go. I set it up, but not very well. And again, this isn't a human-sized figure. This is a human-sized figure right there. Like, they're just, like, <laughs> yeah. Just this guy would be like 20 feet tall to scale. And these are the survivors. This is what you actually play. You play these sort of uh, mostly uh, disrobed, sort of human-like figures in this game. Well, there's plenty of tutorials on Kingdom Death done by people. People better than I, better equipped than I. So anyway, yeah, the base is about six inches around and you'll see there's like a face, there's like a person hiding inside of the rib cage there. Let me just go ahead and turn this guy around. Let's get rid of these spiderlings. And uh, yeah, and what I love about it is there's no set color scheme here. So you can just kind of, it's gonna do whatever you want. And I like that the artist put these runes on it. At first I was like, oh, she's just doing random patterns or whatever. No, 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 they're actually, they're based on this guy. You know, in fact, let's take a, let's see if I can zoom in on, nope, that's as far as this is gonna zoom in at this point. So anyway, yeah, it's kind of based on the shapes of that guy's runes. I would love to own this figure, bust it out on my D&D &D characters. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at the Dung Beetle Knight, which is, uh, one of my favorites, definitely one that I want to own. Let's move him. Uh, let's move him front and center. So, like his namesake, he has like this ball that he rolls around. And I've heard that in the game, the ball will eat you if it rolls over you. Now, the artist here, she grew up in. Uh, I do believe it is the South, and she saw these iridescent beetles, and so she remembered that and uh, sort of gave him this sort of rainbow feel. But it's a great figure, and again, this figure is not like, this isn't a human-sized figure. This is, this, is a, this is a god here. In fact, uh, let me just grab 
This is a 32 millimeter. So even these are taller than a regular figure, a good head taller than what a 28 millimeter figure would be. So this Dung Beetle Knight is a good two and a half inches, two and a half inches tall. I guess what would that be like, uh, 65 millimeters, something like that? So anyway, all right, hey, let's move on. There's other stuff, just bizarre things like, uh, I like this Smoke Knight. We've done quite a few of these. We, in fact, we've done a lot of Kingdom Death and uh, to various levels of, of painting. Yeah, that guy is, he's, what, what a great model. I mean, whoever just even conceived of these absolutely bizarre creatures really deserves a shout out. I mean, just incredible stuff. And uh, again, this is like a uh, 50, 50 millimeter base. So this would be about as tall as like a Space Marine Dreadnought, if that's a good reference for you. And uh, yeah, so many bizarre figures. All right, looks like I'm about to run out of juice. Let me just put a few up here. This is called a Flower Knight. I think this little violin goes with him. And he's just a bizarre sort of owl-headed creature. And um, just lots of weird stuff. Let's see, is that, is that in focus? See if I can make sure that's right. There you go. All right, because I'm not looking at the little camera frame thing. This is like a sacrificial goat, and so you look at it, you're like, oh, that's a thing. But he's actually, it's, he's been gutted. And uh, like a butcher butcher shop. That's, oh, so many things. Th now this is a gallowsman, which I have not seen before. I'm pretty sure we've not done this figure before. And again, this guy's like, this guy is a giant. I mean, here's a, let me get a man-sized figure next to him. Well, this guy's pretty big, actually. All right, well, uh, we could go through all these, but uh, I just wanted to show you the ones that I thought were coolest. And <clears throat> I want to thank you. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it.